What up, Black and Blue fam? Welcome to the Black and Blue Review, where we break down the good, the bad, and the ugly of police interaction videos to give you a better understanding of what cops do or what they should be doing out there on the streets. My name is Dale, and I'm an actual police officer out here in California with over 25 years experience in the business. I'm joined today like I am on every Black and Blue Review by a non-law enforcement member of the community to help us break down today's video. So let's welcome to the Black and Blue Review my dude, Rob. What's, uh, What's going on, my brother? How you on? feeling? Hey, man, I feel great, man. Thank you uh, for inviting me, man. What's up, uh, Black and Blue fam? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's going on with you, man? What's going on, man? You know, man, just working and uh, ready to uh, see what's going on with you. All right, man. Well, everything's all good. All gravy yeah. out here, man. I appreciate you coming on to the show. Uh, Rob, you are in technology sales. So what does that really entail? Uh, basically, I represent a technology company at retail. And I have a territory of stores. And my job is to impact sales. So all that's right. what I pretty much do. Okay, cool. And, and you don't have any interactions running, running cops and and uh, seeing how cops interact with the, with the public and what they're supposed to be doing, uh, so that's why I brought lately. you on here, right? Yeah, right. Not no, I, I rarely ever, you know, unless I'm getting a ticket <laughs> or something like that. But <laughs> so, hey, man. So, uh, what we're gonna do today is we are going to uh, look at a video and uh, of a of a situation of pl uh, police interaction video, and then we'll just chop it up and see what your what your thoughts are on this video. What happened here? And today's video comes to us from uh, Hot Springs, Arkansas when officer confronts some teenage girls. So let's take a look at this video and tell me what you think. She has never even had to defend herself, but to have to for the first time against law enforcement, that is scary for anyone, especially a child. Especially a child. Sequenta Dendy says she couldn't believe her eyes as she watched Hot Springs police officers arrest her daughter and her friends on Halloween night. To my knowledge, uh, one of the kids threw down a soda can on the ground and the police officers, I guess they were following the children and they uh, walked up to the kids and demanded that somebody pick the can up. My daughter said, I don't know who threw the can there and that she didn't throw the can. And so to my knowledge, he grabbed her by her neck and tried to force her to pick up the can. Dindy says in the video you can hear the sirens and the voices of innocent teens terrified for their life. But according to Hot Springs Police Department in a statement, the video is not an accurate and total accounting of the events that occurred during that incident. But for Dindy, hearing the cry of her daughter's voice is a sound that will forever leave pain in her heart. Whose child is next? Whose child is next? What is the next step? How far would they have gone if, if other people wouldn't have stepped in to help? There were four girls in total in the video. Three of them are Kimberly Lambert's daughters. She says their instincts kicked in and they just wanted to help out their friend. That was pretty much the only thing they was worried about was their friend. You know, they really wasn't concerned about themselves in no type of way. It was basically their friend. They wanted to save her. Lambert says as each girl was faced on the ground, one of her daughters started to have an asthma attack. Yeah. I don't feel like nobody's child deserved to go through something like that, you know, no one's child. I don't care what color you are. It's not about race. It's not about none of that. It's all about the actions that took place in that situation. All right. So, so what do you think about what everything you saw here? It's a typical uh, uh, look, uh, well, after the fact video. Just, right, 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 right. So I'm, I'm looking at it. So it's my understanding is that there was a soda can on the ground. Now, did the police officer actually see her throw it on the ground? That's where I'm well, kind of well, confused. Yeah, according to the to the report that we just saw, that he saw one of the girls throw the, the can on the ground and he wanted her to pick it up or, or something like that. And then right. he, he, uh, he went after them for that. Okay. And so my only concern is that he, he, did, he did become very aggressive and there are teenage girls. So that part... I'm a little concerned about, but I'm also at the same time looking at, it looked like he was by himself. Is that correct? Yeah, he was by himself at that point, yep. Yeah, yeah, and so, man, I'm kind of like in the middle here because my thing is, okay, I get it, it's a soda can, 
did he have to become that aggressive? I, I understand they probably weren't complying to his demands. That part I do understand. However, them, oh man, I would say, um, let me think here. Yeah. See, see, the, the, the thing comes. So what we saw here, this news report was, right. you know, like I said, after the fact, which is typically what we see of a situation right. and we don't get the full story. So what we did right. get in this news report was because somebody was there recording it on their cell phone. Uh, right. You know, this officer uh, approaching these girls aggressively um, because right. of a soda can. And then, he, you know, he attacked them and, and he did this, this, that and the other to, to the teenage girls. Right. And, right. you know, of course, now their parents are involved and, and, and you heard what they said that, uh, you know, he went overboard. So um, this is typically what we'll see after the fact, not knowing everything right. that happened and kind of exactly. elicits. And, and this is what the media does. They, they try to elicit that, that emotion that. from us. Right. Right. Um, right. The, the cops did wrong. And whether or not he did, um, that, that's another story. And, uh, you know, I've, I've got that as well. So we can see the full story. So let's let's check this out as well. Okay. So this is the uh, officer's body cam video. Um, the beginning of it doesn't show, doesn't have audio because it takes a few seconds after you hit record and then uh, the buffer gotcha. is, is recorded. So you'll hear the audio here in a minute. What is you talking about? Listen to me. The next time I see you throw trash, you're going to go to jail. You're going to go to jail. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, you get, hey, you get out of my face. Thank you. That's our dog. What, hey. what the fuck is up with you? Well, I need a couple other units in the 200 minor. block of park. I don't give a shit if you're a minor. Hey. Hey, t- hey, tell her to come down to the police department and see me. My name's Lieutenant May. Hey, t- hey, I don't care if you're mad. Tell her to come and see me. My name's Lieutenant May. Oh, no. Okay. D- did you just see that part right there? Yeah, I saw something thrown. Yeah, so right here, she... uh. One of them actually threw something at the officer. Hey, hey, hey I don't can. care if you're mad. Tell her to come see me. My name is Lieutenant May. Okay. Yeah, man. Sorry, Park. Yeah, Gladen Park. Do not touch me. I'm calling my mother. Move. Come here. Come here. No, don't touch me. I swear I'm not. Do I look like I'm touching you? Yes, because you just fucking pushed me to fucking talk about. I wasn't talking to you. Hey, call your mama so I can find out where you live. No. Call your mom so I can find out where you live. Call your mom. Call your mama so I can find. Hey, call... I don't care. I don't care. I threw a can in your. And then threw it at. Hey, and then threw it at me. So that's a that's a different story. Hey, call your. So so you even hear her admit it because you know I threw it right. at you because oh, man. yeah. So you know. Call your mom. I'm not going to touch you. Call your mom. Okay. Call your mom. Okay. You're fucking weird. Call your mom. Hey, call your mom. I'm super extra. Hey, call your call your mom. You can call your mom, too. 200 block. Go ahead and, if you need equipment, go ahead and So, he's, he's actually encouraging and telling the girls, call your parents. Call your parents, Yeah, right? man. So, man. this is where we're at. If you and I was the parents run away. No, I need to talk to him. I want to talk to him. For, what? For, what? For throwing this at a, at a cop? Nigga, I didn't, didn't even touch Okay, you so, it yeah, throwing it at a cop. I it because what are you fucking talking about? Hey, it's all on camera. It's all on camera. Y'all are making, y'all are making a real, hey, don't, get out of my face. Get out of my face. Listen to me. Why you touch me, though? Why you touch me, though? So there's, there's, a, there's a lot going on here, but yeah, there's a lot going on. So he, he, so this one here in the black is the one who actually keeps the first time she got in his face mm-hmm. and he pushed her back. Yeah, this is the second time. She's being so very aggressive. She's being aggressive. So th- that's basically what all this happening here. Get back. So he's telling them to get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. You see how they keep get back. Get right. Get back. Okay, then that's when they all get detained when his backup shows up. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah. So now seeing this, what what are your thoughts on yeah, that? Yeah, man. Look, he gave her every opportunity and he also told her, if you do it again, you're gonna get arrested. And then oh, she the threw the can. Then she threw the can, and at that point, okay. And he still was trying to, you know, de-escalate it, um, but also wanted her to call her mom. Yeah. So that way, you know, she has that opportunity to talk. But the one in the black, I noticed, uh, I think you mentioned it as well, is that she, she was the one that almost like in his face. Like, and if you're a police officer out there by yourself, look, everybody wants to go home. Right. At the end of the day, everybody wants to go home. And that part, I don't know, man, you got like four girls and they're being aggressive, overly shouting and yelling it's like going on. So, you know, he had to call for backup at that point, because not only for their protection, for safety, but also for his own. Yeah. So, yeah, you can see how the media at one point you got limited information. You're not sure what's going on. They're only showing the end of it. Because yeah. you don't see what happened in the beginning, and that's actually uh, really good to see. Uh, so that way, you know, you get a different perspective of what's really going on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, those girls were 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 out of control. They were, you know, extra saying that he was being extra. But uh, right. I I, I kind of got a different perspective from from the jump. You know, we think he, you know, he was telling her, "Hey, next time you you throw this on the ground." Um, you know, you're going to go to jail. I don't know. Maybe right. that's how it is in Arkansas. It's a little different than here right. in Cali. We got other <laughs> things to worry about out here in right, Cali. Right. Um, but nonetheless, you know, you want to counsel these, these young ladies and, uh, and then they, they just, you know, popped off, but you know, they teenagers, that's what's going to happen. I mean, right. and right. then, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. And you just kind of, kind of, and then it seems like he kind of raised his level too, saying, I don't give an ish, you know, and all this, sure. you know, so, sure. um, he wasn't being the best either, but nonetheless, right. He could have um, did a little bit better, yeah, but at the same lot, time, lot. you know, the girls, you know, a little unruly at one point. They, they were a lot know? unruly. And, yeah. <laughs> they were a lot unruly, and, and and he was telling, "Hey, call your mama, call your mama," because right. he want he want to let the you know let mama know you know what what his yeah. what their little girls are up to and and how they acted right and and right. You know, and, and he did encourage them. He said, "Yeah, call your mom. I want to talk to him." Talk to yeah. your mom and, you know, so she knows what you out here doing. And, yeah. but when she threw that second can, I go, oh no, he already right. warned you once. And right. now you're going to do that. That's, and he still of authority. was right. Right. And that's where things can come up, you know, get out of hand. But, yeah. you know, I just think that the girls, oh man. Yeah. They, yeah. It's rough, man. It's like, yeah, oh, man, especially I mean, kids, it, right? Yeah, and then this, this, this gets out in the media, and then you know, all this happens, and then right. you know, at the end of that, at that news piece, they say, you know, the the Hot Springs Police Department dis disputes their claims, and everything's being investigated. But you know, those are things that you always hear, and then right. if if they don't release these videos. And they clear the right. officer. Of course, you know, the public is going to say, well, of course they clear the officer. You know, that's what they do. You know, they, they yeah. back themselves and without right. showing what actually happened. What actually happened. And how soon, though, I have a question. So how soon, like his body cam, how, I mean, how soon is the public able to see the body cam? Or does that stay under investigation until like further, yeah. like, What's the time frame? It, for it, that? it depends on, for one, the crime, you know, right. what it is. And then two, right. uh, the, just department policy. You know, if they want to be transparent, yeah. um, I've spoken to, you know, different uh, chiefs and admins across the country, and they all have different views of how soon it should be released. But in, in instances like this, where it kind of, right. especially if you got something, uh, uh, civil unrest that may occur because of this, you know, like a George Floyd situation. You know, gotcha. you want to get that out there, regardless if the other investigations are, are over with. You want to get it out here. Hey, right. our officer was justified in doing what they did. Um, maybe they could have done a little bit better in it. But nonetheless, right. those young ladies are the ones that uh, started this whole situation. But, you know, it's like the media, you know, it's almost uh, the media is irresponsible because. Yeah. They only show like a piece just to, it's almost like they want you to wrap people up. What they do, what they do, you know, and yeah. it's like, 
tell the whole story. Let's see the whole story before you start, you know, because the way it was pieced together, I wasn't sure what happened. I was like, all I saw was a cop's officer grab her, take her to the ground, something about the soda can, and then you see her mother and, you know, talk, you know, trying to understand what happened to her child. And I'm like, yeah. so if you just see that, you're just seeing it from that point of view and you're not getting the full picture. And, yeah. um, I and the, think, the I other lady, the other lady in there that spoke too, I guess was the, was the other girl's mom and saying she was right. just concerned for her, her friend's safety. Um, so right. is that how she's explaining her, her, how her daughter's <laughs> getting in this cop's face? Yeah. You know, all these no. times, right? No. <laughs> yeah. So how soon is the parents able to see something like that? As far as the whole body cam, do they get like yeah. access to that right away or Again, it, it all depends case by case basis. I would do it, you know, case. if if I was the the internal affairs sergeant or or whatever is going on uh, when these people come right. to my station and start complaining about this, I would download right. that right away. And especially if I've seen it already, I would download yeah. it already, have it on a tablet, have it on the iPad when they come in. Look, this right. this is what your what your daughters are up to. So then they can go, oh, right. oh, man, this is an eye opener, yeah. man. I mean, it's definitely an eye opener because, again, if you just go by what you see on the news, you're going to come to a conclusion and without all the information. And when you don't have all the information, there's no way you can make an intelligent decision about what you're seeing. And um, and hey, man, it's a great thing that you're doing, man, because if I would have just saw that, I was like, oh, uh, yeah, what's going on here. But once you see the whole thing in its totality you really see what really happened. Yeah. And, and you yeah, know, when, really. when those kids, when those girls went home and they told their parents, you know, they, they didn't, you know, we, we were kids. You, you didn't, you don't right, tell right. your parents everything. We weren't everything doing nothing. Were doing. This cop just we came just up. We were just walking. You know, we just walking. <laughs> we just I laid walking. a can down on the, on the sidewalk and, you know, or, right. or I tried to throw it in the trash can, but I missed. Right. And this cop just came out of nowhere. He jumped out of this building and then he just tackled us. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, exactly, exactly. Because yeah. you know, once they find out what you really did, yeah, yeah mom's gonna be upset. But yeah. I just hope that everything was cleared in the end, um, and uh, that way everyone knows the total or have an understanding Absolutely. what was really went and what was going Agreed. on. Agree. So, yeah. Hey, brother. Hey, man. Sure. I appreciate you coming on and helping us. You know, kind of walk through oh, yeah, this together. Sure. Yeah, this this yeah. is this is real fun, man. I, I love doing these videos and uh get both of us getting some education from it. Right, and this is something that needs to be done. You know, dialogue is everything. You know, a lot of times our emotions get the best of us and until you can sit down and just see everything, you know, in its totality, then you can see everything the way it's supposed to be. And um, this is great. I think this is something that we definitely need for facts, sure. Facts. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right, man. I'll talk to you soon. All right, brother. All right. Take care.